you're welcome back. The message for us today from Pastor Anita is God isn't difficult. Mm. This is Christmas Eve. We are planning tomorrow to be a grand celebration, celebrating the fact that our Lord Jesus has come. And we want everyone to join us in this celebration. So today, Pastor Anita is telling us, God isn't difficult. So don't keep him too far off. As we celebrate Christmas, bring him close to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as you're just speaking, it just gives me the impression, you know, the Bible talks about the fact that God laughs. Mm. And so as we are celebrating and mm. having fun, mm. don't imagine that God is, you know, just looking and is aloof, but he's part of it. He's part he's, of our he's, celebration. He's, he's happy when we are happy. Mm. When we are happy and joyful, mm. we are pleasing to mm. him. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so when we are celebrating, we don't have to do it cautiously, no. you know, or do it, you know, with caution. <laughs> Wondering whether it, we're doing it the right way. Or yeah. whether we're pleasing the Lord while doing it. Mm. Oh, God is simple. Yes. He's not difficult. He's not difficult. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's read on. Pastor Anita continues in the third paragraph. Genesis chapter 18 verse 8 tells us that Abraham then took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them mm. and he stood by them under the tree wow. and they did eat consider the implication of this encounter closely the almighty the, the god. almighty god <laughs> sat down with two angels and abraham his creatures under a tree and, and ate S. God ate with abraham <laughs> in the presence of abraham wow he did not say no I'm too holy for you to even see my mouth moving while I'm eating. <laughs> God is just so mm -hmm. simple. Glory to God. Wow. Pastor Anita go. continues. She said, the God of heaven ate of man's food. After eating, he said to Abraham, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. Praise the That's Lord. That's in Genesis chapter 18, verse 10. Praise the Lord. Wow. Pastor Nisa says this clearly shows the kind of God it is. It's just so simple to relate to and to Fresh. fellowship with. God is not complicated at all. At all. He takes you the way you are. He loves you the way you are. And he loves you much more than mm. you can even imagine. Mm. Because he is love. He is. How much love can you have to compete with love it himself? He mm. is love. Our father is beautiful. Yeah. Our father is awesome. <laughs> and because of that, we are so, I mean, we, we are little children before yes, him. Yes. Celebrating and mm. rejoicing in the love of the father. Amen. Knowing that he delights in us. Hallelujah. Listen to this. In conclusion, Pastor Anita says, let this consciousness of the Father's simplicity guide your relationship with Him. Don't think it's complicated. Mm. God is simple. Pastor Anita says, God loves you and delights to fellowship with you. Take advantage of His simplicity in your prayers, in your prayer life, and build a rich fellowship Amen. with Him. Glory to God. Wow. Wow. So the Pastor Anita is saying, I can talk to God like I'll talk to my father. Yes, indeed. And say, Lord, there's a matter that I need to discuss with you. Glory to God. And lay it on the table, just like I'm talking to my father. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, I desire your counsel exactly. on this matter. Hallelujah. And he will give it to me. Amen. So there's no protocol. No protocol. And there's, you know, as you're just speaking, hmm. you know, some people while praying, there's a difference voice that they have when they are praying to God. There is a different manner of speaking, mm. different from their everyday use of words yeah. and language. But that's not necessary. No. God was there when you were speaking to your neighbor. That's right. So why are you changing your voice and your manner of speaking now that you want to talk to him? Just like what you said, you yes. can actually converse with him yes. like you do with your earthly Hallelujah. father or with someone you love mm. and you know that the person loves you too. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Bible even says, says let us come boldly to the to throne, the throne of, of grace. grace. And obtain mercy. And obtain mercy. That means you just speak it out. In time of need. That's because right. Because if you are familiar, if mm. I come to your house because we're close and I'm uh -huh. familiar with you, I won't be asking for your permission to take no. water. No. <laughs> I will just go ahead yes. and take it. You know? So if you're that familiar with the Lord, you mm. come boldly, boldly into his throne Amen. of grace and take Mm. Obtain what you need. That's that right. is what that scripture is saying. Glory, Glory to, God. to God. Hallelujah. This has been absolutely mind blowing. God isn't difficult. And Pastor Anita has broken it down for us. Yes. That one attribute of our Heavenly Father.
that many tend to overlook is his simplicity. Don't overlook his simplicity. As much as we must honor him, because he is God, he is the creator. He is very simple. Mm. He appreciates you the way you are. Yes. The Bible tells us that even before we, when we were sinners, yes. he loved us. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. So his love, his, Pastor Anita says he's loving, gracious, and compassionate. compassionate. Don't let religion stifle your relationship and your fellowship with God. Make sure you can overcome that. God is love. Hallelujah. And there's so much that you can achieve just dealing with him in his simplicity. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow. We have learned so much today. We're going to go on a short break. When we come back, we'll take the scriptures that follow today's study and the prayer. Stay tuned. From January to December, it's been our year of the Word of God. And Rhapsody of Realities has impacted the world immensely this year, 2012. He says, my sons, attend to my word. Oh. Knowing that what God says in his word is a now reality. And the word on your lips is God, God talking. talking. We play by a different set of rules. Yes, we do. The word of God works without fail every time. So I act on that word. Now, finish the year on a high note as you join us every day on your favorite devotional program in the month of December. Stay tuned. Light up your world this Christmas with the December edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Our man of God, Pastor Chris, has taught us to use every avenue to preach the gospel. So this Christmas, let us saturate our locality with the inspiring and life-changing messages in the Rhapsody of Realities. How do you do this? One, make the Rhapsody of Realities the preferred souvenir at all special occasions this Christmas season. Two, a hamper is not complete without a copy of the Messenger Angel. Three, contact everyone on your reach out data who indicated interest in Rhapsody subscription. Send free copies to those who cannot afford to buy. Encourage those who can to sponsor free copies to others. Corporate sponsorships. Various companies within the vicinity can sponsor large quantities of Rhapsody of Realities as part of their corporate social responsibility. These copies can be distributed to various orphanages, schools, hospitals. My Rhapsody, My Community. You can sponsor Rhapsody of Realities to various communities by sending Rhapsody of Realities in different formats and languages to them. Let's make this Christmas the best ever. Order your December edition of Rhapsody of Realities by calling the following numbers or send a mail. Start ordering today. As the sun rises, a new day is born, a new opportunity given, an opening to make a change, a chance to make it better. Because our lives are defined by our choices. Every day with Rhapsody of Realities counts in making that great future. Get your December edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now to place your order or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back. Pastor Anita is teaching us today that God isn't difficult. Praise the Lord. Don't overlook God's simplicity. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can deal with him just like we can deal with our Father here on earth. There, is, there doesn't need to be any protocol. The Bible says that we should come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy in time of help. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. And Pastor Anita has left us with a prayer today. Are you ready to take that prayer? Let's go. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. It's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. To learn from your word. To learn from your word. This day. This day. I thank you. I thank you. For removing the myth. For removing the myth. 
of complexity of complexity that religion that religion has woven around your personality has woven around your personality you are my god you are my god and father and father i worship you today i worship you today for who you are for who you are in jesus name in jesus name amen amen hallelujah wow thank you wow. lord for this wonderful, refreshing message mm. about the simplicity of God. And Pastor Anita has given to us some scriptures for further study. They are Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, and 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. And That's she particularly good. says we should read this particular scripture from the Good News Bible. Praise Glory to God. Lord. And for the Bible reading plan, if you're following the one year Bible reading plan, today we're reading Revelation chapter 16. And from the Old Testament, we're reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 11 and 12. And if you're taking the two-year Bible reading plan, today you'll be reading from the New Testament, Revelations chapter 18, verses 13 to 24. And from the Old Testament, the book of Zechariah, chapters 3 and 4. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Tomorrow is Christmas, so Hallelujah. go ahead and enjoy yourself. That's right. We have learned that God is happy, He's pleased with us, mm -hmm. He's happy when we are happy as yeah. well. When we're celebrating, mm -hmm. He wants everyone to celebrate with us, even angels will celebrate with us. Yes, so go ahead and enjoy Christmas. Mm. Go ahead giving gifts to those that you know and those that you don't know, spreading the knowledge of the Word of God Praise all God. around the world. Hallelujah! So, we'll come your way again with another life transforming episode. Dickness and I, we're saying to you, keep, keep reading your Rhapsody of Realities. God bless you. I love my rhapsody.